Hey everyone, it's Sarah. So today I'm going to make crock pot macaroni and cheese. Got my crock pot, and pretty much what I've done is I already sprayed the inside of here with some cooking spray. I just used olive oil um, in our mister bottle, and then I cooked up some noodles. These are already cooked noodles, and <clears throat> Pretty much I'm just getting the rest of the ingredients, um, got to dump them in here. So this is about 8 ounces of cooked macaroni and cheese, it's probably a little bit more. Um, I was having a hard time estimating, but that's pretty much what I've got right there. Okay, I've got my melted butter, it's my two eggs whisked. I've got about 5 cups of shredded, um, this is extra sharp cheddar cheese. And then I've got my 12 ounce, I opened it up <laughs> upside down, 12 ounce evaporated milk. And about a cup and a half of whole milk. Alright, so I'm pretty much just going to dump all the ingredients inside. So I'm going to pour the, the butter in there. After I add the butter in, I'm going to pour in my evaporated milk. You can really do it in any order, it's just... Um, there's only one thing you have to do specifically, it's with the shredded cheese. And I'll tell you in just a minute. So that's my 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Then I'm going to pour in my two whisked eggs. My cup and a half of whole milk. And then now that we're doing the cheddar cheese, it's all but a half cup of that five cups of cheddar cheese. Oh, this looks like so much cheese. Alright, so that looks like it's about a half cup left. Alright, so now that I've got all the ingredients in there, I'm just going to stir it up, kind of mix it up a little bit so the ingredients are kind of all mixed together. I can really smell the melted butter right now. It smells so good. Alright, so now that it's kind of all stirred up a little bit, it doesn't look to be perfect. Now I'm just going to top it off with the rest of that half cup of cheese that I saved. Alright, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top. That will give it a nice gooey layer on the top. Alright, so last step is if I wanted to add seasoning, I could add the seasoning in here right now. I am not going to add seasoning, I want to see how it tastes and then I'll go from there. Um, and then you do, um, in the crock pot, three hours on low temperature. And um, yeah, so I'll check back in about three hours and see how it looks. Alright, I'm going to put the lid on. is on and then the power button and then all right so I plugged it in put the lid on I turned the power on and I put it on the low temperature here ours works a little differently so um, I have to do it for longer but I'll just check back in three hours and we'll see how it turns out that's how it looks right now it looks so good the butter makes it smell amazing all right so three hours later and this is what it looks like Look at the camera all steamy. But yeah, it's sizzling, it's yummy, it's melted, it's gooey, it looks amazing. And I can't wait to eat it in just a few minutes here. But it turned out great, and I can't wait to try it. Alright, time to eat. And it is super gooey, creamy, delicious looking. I definitely did about two servings worth, because it was, um, it looked so great. Uh, I didn't do any seasoning on it, as I said, but it definitely is very cheesy and gooey. So, yeah. This is my quick and easy mac and cheese um, in the crock pot. I'm going to take a bite and see how it is, but it looks amazing. All right, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.